Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the deltoideus muscle, which is the first and the most complicated or complex uh, of the intrinsic shoulder muscles. Uh, we're going to talk about the origin, insertion, and action. So let's get right into it. As I mentioned, this is the most complicated of the intrinsic shoulder muscles, uh, but we're going to break it down and we're going to get it. To make it even more simple, I want to let you know that you already know the origins. You may not know that you know the origins, um, but if you looked at one of the previous videos, you do know the origins because the origins of this muscle is exactly opposite to the insertion of the trapezius muscle. So the origins would be, and we're going to go from, let's go from posterior to anterior, just for the fun of it. So we'll start in this middle picture here. Um, so the first one would be, the first uh, point of origin would be the inferior margin of the spine of the scapula. Remember with the trapezius, it was the, uh, the superior margin. So now we're dealing with the inferior margin of the spine of the scapula. And then from there, we have, let's do that in green, not the medial acromion like the trapezius, but the lateral margin of the acromion. So the lateral acromion, we go around here. And then on the other side that you, you're not able to see here, but you're able to see that here, that's going to be the lateral third, let's do that in blue, the lateral third of the anterior clavicle. Remember, with the trapezius, that was the um, posterior clavicle, but here we're dealing with the lateral third of the anterior clavicle. So that would be the origin. Now, in terms of the insertion, uh, we already spoke about that in one of the earlier videos, but right here uh, on the humerus, we have the deltoid tuberosity, a roughened patch right here. And that is where it inserts. So it's coming from uh, the origin point and it's going down and inserting on this deltoid tuberosity. Now, when you look at the structure or the makeup of this muscle, you'll see that we have, you can, it's almost like it's three separate muscles, but there are three portions, three regions of this muscle. We have the anterior or clavicular section. Uh, we have the lateral or the acromial part. So that would be this region here. And then on the back, we have the posterior or spinal section. Okay. Now, depending on which aspect of this muscle is contracting, we're going to get different actions. So for example, just, you know, just looking at where it originates and where it inserts, what happens if the anterior portion is going to, con is contracting? Well, that's going to cause elevation of the humerus, so that, that you're basically raising the arm forward, elevation of the humerus. Now, what happens if the lateral or the acromial portion is contracting? What's that going to cause? Well, that's going to cause abduction. So you're basically raising your, your arm, but you're raising it horizontally. And then what's going to happen if the posterior or the spinal section is contracting? Well, that's going to cause the exact opposite of the anterior section. So it's going to cause not flexion, but extension of the arm. Okay, so we can have, um, we can have extension, we can have abduction, and we can have extension. Flexion, abduction, and extension, uh, depending on what portion of the deltoideus muscle is contracting. So, a uh, quick review. As usual, you can turn the volume down and quiz yourself. The name of the muscle is the deltoideus muscle. The origin would be, let's put this here, the inferior margin of the spine of the scapula, the lateral acromion, 
and the lateral third of the anterior clavicle. The insertion would be on the deltoid tuberosity. You can't see it in the picture, but you know that it's under here, the deltoid tuberosity. And the action depends on which head you're dealing with. If you're dealing with the anterior or clavicular head, uh, that's going to cause flexion. If you're dealing with the lateral or acromial head, you're going to cause abduction. So it's going to abduct. If you're dealing with the posterior or spinal end, that's going to cause extension of the arm, extension of the humerus. So that's pretty much it for this video. As usual, if you want more like this and other resources to help make biology fun, you know what to do, head on over to the website. The URL is interactive-biology.com. That's it for this video. This is Leslie Samuel, and I'll see you in the next one.